everyone. I'm Charles Henry, and I'm super excited to be here because today I'm going to show you this amazing mansion here in Uccle. I'm sure you're going to love it. Let's go. I am in Uccle, in a neighborhood called Quartier Prince d'Orange, which is easily one of the most exclusive and sought after neighborhoods of Brussels. This property, built in, an, in 1948, in uh, English cottage style, English mansion style, it's 650 square meters on a 1200 square meter lot with nine bedrooms and six bathrooms. Let's follow me inside. Look at these beautiful arch doors. You enter this house in the foyer and look at the ceiling height. This is six meters high with an amazing chandelier. It doesn't get any more static than this huge, huge, huge lobby. And the technology that got into this renovation is really amazing. With this iPad, you can control the entire house. You can control the heating in every room, the security system, check the cameras, open the gate, and all these things. Now, I love the layout of this ground floor. You can go to the living room or dining or towards the kitchen. I'm going to show you the living room in a bit. First, follow me to the vestiaire. You notice these symmetrical lines on the wall you can find them throughout the house where you know they they thought of this kind of design in every room the wardrobe has built-in closets you can cleanly store your stuff here and down there is a is a powder room toilet really nice check out the living room right here I love these steel doors. Look at how much space you've got in this living room. It's more than 45 square meters. And it's so bright. The colors, I love how they worked with white and black. And then in the interior design, you can give your personal color touch. So everything is renovated, as you can see, with indirect lighting in the ceilings, built-in spots. There's actually a security system with fire detection and uh, also security cameras, movement. All the windows and doors have a, secure, a security system. Man. How, how spacious and quiet is this? From the living room, you can access the terrace and the outside. And I'm gonna show you that later. First, follow me to the dining area. Next to the kitchen, you, uh, next to the living room, you have this amazing dining space. Now it is set up for six, but you could easily change the table and set it up for up to 10 people. Can you imagine having people over? Actually, this is the formal dining area towards the kitchen, which is huge. There is a, also, an informal dining space for your everyday meals. Now, this place is very, very well lit. You have the outside lighting with an, also the amazing view of the outside, but also chandelier spots and indirect lighting. I just love that. And if you check this wall here, behind this floor to ceiling wall, there is the access towards the kitchen. And this pane actually hides inside the wall, so you don't even notice if it's open. And this creates a nice flow towards the kitchen. Right here you have room to create a very nice informal dining space with direct light from the garden and also access to the outside right here. But then, check out this amazing kitchen. I've never seen such a big kitchen. The countertop is in Decton, which is super strong and easy to clean. It's even stronger than granite. And 
I mean, how much room is there? You can easily sit eight people at this countertop. And everything is double. You have two stoves, two sinks, two fridges, two freezers, two ovens, two microwaves. I mean, how it's one of the most important rooms of the house and here is where everything happens and you have time to spend with your family. You can actually walk around the countertop and you know really spend a nice time here in the kitchen. I'm I just love this place really. There are some more details I want to show you. Actually here in this spot I would install a really cozy breakfast area and at certain spots you will find that it's possible to install a TV like for instance up there as well. And then look at these beautiful arched windows. This gives this room a really spacious feeling. And yet again, as you can see all around, you have a view of your nice garden. Let's go check the floors and the bedrooms. This way. Man, this staircase. I love this, you know, indirect LED lighting and also the design. So this first floor is divided in two parts. The master bedroom right there and three other bedrooms. This is actually an ensuite bedroom and it's just huge. Check. This amazing bedroom has space even for your own couch and salon, TV. I mean, you could put a, put a double X, triple X king size bed right here. And the nice thing about it, it has its own bathroom. I'll show you that right away. But it has two dressings, his and hers dressing room. This is the smallest, so obviously his. I can put my shoes here, shoes there. Um, drawers, I mean. The lady's gonna love this. A chandelier in your dressing room. How much space is here? Oh yeah. A second chandelier, by the way. Well, I'm sure Many ladies can fill this room with some nice clothes. So this bedroom is so big, but yet the way it's done and with this indirect lighting in the ceiling, it feels so cozy. Also, you're obviously surrounded by green. Now, right where you need it, this bedroom has a bathroom. Private toilet, double sink, Italian shower, walk-in Italian shower, and a very beautiful tub. You know, because there is so much light, you can really play with contrasting colors like black and white. It doesn't feel dark even, that's because there's so much light coming in from the outside. And then to the second part of the first floor, it's actually three bedrooms divided into two, uh, two sides. Follow me on this side. You have a first bedroom. You see these design details, you see them throughout the house. First bedroom, garden side. Built-in closets. And between this and the next bedroom, there is this bathroom right in the middle. Let me show you a detail here on the radiator. These are actually, like everywhere, each radiator has a connected thermostatic van, which you can use with the iPad to program the heating of every room in the house. And as I told you, nine bedrooms, six bathrooms, there are quite some rooms, but it really works really nice. And here, this bathroom, double sink, and onwards towards the next bedroom. Also, garden side, and really spacious actually. Also, built-in lightings, 
a spot to, a, a spot to install a TV if you want and built-in closet. On the hallway there's one more toilet and here this is the fourth bedroom of, of the first floor, street side, but yet again like everything here big. Built-in closets with a unique design and this one has its own bathroom. This bedroom faces southwest and has a really nice light coming in and a nice view actually from here. Also, private toilet and a tub. So that was the first floor with four bedrooms and three bathrooms. But there is more, the second floor. This second floor is very practical for if you would have household staff or security staff that live inside the house. Check it out. The first part of the second floor has a fifth bedroom and also a laundry room. Let's go oh, check the bedroom. It's also fairly spacious and has its own shower. Also again with black subway tiles and a rain shower. I really love it. Check it out. It's a nice detail how they installed a black sink here in this shower. Feels nice, feels cozy. Also on the second floor you have a laundry room. In fact this is one of the biggest laundry rooms I have ever seen. I don't know if you want to do the laundry yourself or you have someone to do it, but look how much space you have. There are two dryers and two washers. You can put all your clothes here, folding there, outside view. I mean, it doesn't get any better than this if you have to wash clothes. I mean, it's really nicely done. Behind this door, you have a second part of the second floor. Four more bedrooms, two bathrooms, and even a kitchen. So you can actually separate it from the house. So uh, it can be practical for whatever reason. One more room, second room. They're all quite spacious. Third room, fourth room right there. One bathroom, toilet and tub. One more bathroom, shower. And second kitchen. Also with the black subway tiles. Also has a dishwasher, an oven. I mean, this is really practical to have a second kitchen in your home in a separate part of the house. It can be useful for whatever reasons. You could have it as a second apartment, you have someone living with you, whatever, it's really useful. But the tour ain't over yet. There is still a surprise I wanna show you. Follow me. We're back in the kitchen again, but you may not have noticed this hidden door right here. This is gonna be a surprise, follow me. This house has its own movie theater. I mean, how great is that? I would sit here all day and I, I wouldn't work. I think that's it. I would spend my days here. You know, I grew up in a house who had a movie theater like this in the basement and that was really fun. I mean, it's an all other experience to watch movies when you're really in a movie theater. I mean, it's just, believe me, it's great. It's not over. The basement has something really important that you need in your basement. You know what that is? A wine cellar. Check it out. Look at this nice design LED in the floor. 28 concrete spots to store your wine. Also, it is climate controlled, so it's always the best temperature for your stash. And the basement, okay, has some nice technical areas. There is a um, kitchen here for your drinks when you entertain people in your home theater. And one of the cleanest heating rooms I have ever seen. This beast heats the entire house. It's a new one, it's very efficient, really, really nice. So as I said, adjacent to the living room, you can walk outside on this beautiful terrace, south by southwest oriented, really bathing in sunlight. There's a second 
terrace there, but here you have this amazing swimming pool. I mean, can you imagine yourself sitting here, enjoying the sun, enjoying the privacy and just having a swim? This garden is not too big that you have a lot of effort maintaining it. It's just nice and it creates this really nice atmosphere around the house. But there's one more very, very uh, special surprise I want to show you down here actually. This is what I would call a man cave or your pool house or your sauna or your hammam. Actually, this hidden space right here, you could use for whatever you want. All the electricity is foreseen to uh, be able to install like a sauna or a hammam. You have about 50 square meters here of hobby or whatever space you would, you would like to use it. I hope you like this video. I love doing it. If you're looking for a big house, lots of space, lots of bedrooms located here in Nucle in an amazing neighborhood, just give me a call. I would be happy to show it to you. Make sure to follow our channel to see more videos like this and I would love to hear from you in the comments. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.